Hi everyone, this is Deepen Gogoi, Technical Analyst of Allies Blue. So in this webinar, I will discuss about the market, right? So market, uh, basically I'll uh, cover market trend, market range, support and resistant, trading strategy, entry and exit point, uh, risk management, right? So I hope you people are able to listen me. So you just leave a message, say, or not you just leave a message to me are you there anybody okay good so i think uh, you people able to hear me right okay uh, okay 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 definitely i'll talk uh, i'll discuss about the crude oil because last uh, few days i'm not able to uh, post any youtube video because we are uh, planning to uh, sorry yeah we are uh, just planning to make a webinar for everybody because i'll be live from 7 to 8 pm every day and uh, saturday i will uh, uh, Saturday webinar will be like uh, education based. Uh, that means I will teach uh, their trading, various trading strategy. So first webinar, uh, uh, last uh, Saturday, I just uh, uh, I told that how to find out this uh, like a market trend or market uh, market trend, right? So first, uh, let me show you. Yeah. So let me here. Okay. So now let, let me show you, yeah. So right, crude oil. So you can see this is a crude oil daily chart. So why most of the people are asking me why, uh, what is the time frame? So basically before you enter in this market, always uh, you just, uh, you just, uh, just uh, find out the uh, trend in a large time frame, like uh, daily or four hour. So if you see here, you can see here, this is a daily time frame, all right? So I'll discuss and how to analyze the market, I'll tell you. So you can see this is a daily time frame, right? First, you always find out in a daily chart. Why I'm taking daily chart? In daily chart, I'll, I'll find out the support and resistance. So right now you can see uh, in my PBS uh, webinar, i given three confirmation first confirmation i think remember it was price action method price action method and according to the price action method they're creating lower low lower high lower low lower high and lower low so according to this method we have seen still prices in a downtrend in a daily time frame remember and the next uh, method was second method was moving average crossover and i told when uh 20 moving average exponential remember 20 moving average cross okay cross 50 moving average we are confirming the price uh, trend has changed so let me show you so right now you can see let me zoom here so then it will be uh, visualized right so now you can see here this is 20 moving average right and yellow is a 50 moving average so in this area they cross right here most of the people are looking this is a hammer pattern so start buying so that is the main uh fall for the trader so have you seen we have seen two confirmation one price action method they are creating lower low and here we have seen moving average crossover and second confirmation also down first confirmation down and then let's see in a third confirmation right third confirmation was trend channel i think remember uh, suppose this is a trend channel have you seen previously market was running in this area like that 
this was a trend channel after that you can see similarly they broke this area three confirmation one price action method they are creating lower low second moving average cross over here third trend channel has broke here so when we have seen three confirmation so we'll start only sell we are never going to take any buy position right this is the main uh, main main thing where we can find out the trend so first we have seen the trend trend has uh, changed and has changed right in this area so later you can see here next we have to find out the support and resistance right support and resistance how you will find the support and resistance so later you can see so let me zoom a little more here okay here now you can see here when they broke in this area right in this area they broke everything so that is why we have to find support and resistance that is why i'm going to place horizontal line first we have seen here is a higher point right why i place there this is previously they broke this area and become a resistant here you can see price just uh, came near 3860 and price again came down and later you can see this is a so i want to i want to draw a line where mostly they are tossing area so have you seen this is a tossing area this is a tossing area so i drawn here a line so it was a supporting line when price was running right when once break this supporting line so we are looking for next supporting line so later you can see next supporting line we have seen this is the lower point have you seen this is the lower point right so now you can see here we have seen two support first support they already broke next support here so that means when price is price was failing we are taking only sell position so let me show you properly then you will come to know and uh, let me draw in this area right remember in this area in this area price just broke that means in this area we have seen okay uh, let me place here okay in this area we have seen uh price just uh, start in a downturn in a daily so if you want to see in a small time frame like uh, so where uh, here was a one so from this area so let me go this is our entry point right so if you see in a small time frame let's see so let me show you yeah let me show you from this area right we will take only sell position right according to our trading strategy this is the sell area this is the sell point selling point this is a selling point right so you can see everything are selling point because we are never gonna here we have seen some buy entry point but we are never gonna take any buy position because there are uh, in a large time frame uh, trend is downtrend, right? Trend is downtrend. That is why we'll take only sell. Here we have seen some buy entry, so we are never gonna. So again, we have seen sell entry, we'll sell it. We we have a sell entry, we'll sell it, right? Remember, always remember that uh, once you are getting. So now you can see people are thinking uh, this price just uh, gone up little bit because near here you can see this is a supporting area. When when price comes near supporting area we never gonna sell right we never gonna sell near supporting area whatever we have a uh, sell, uh, sell position we will close our position and we are looking for uh, trend uh, uh, we are looking for next trend change right so next uh, they change the trend I'll, I'll i'll discuss about that one later right so now let's see right so now you can see here uh 
here you can see we just place supporting area here now next thing you have to find out range first we have seen market trend next market range remember always before you trade so you have to find out the market range so if you want to see here market range i want to connect the higher point previous higher point this is a previous higher point this is a higher point so i want to connect the previous higher point so i just connected previous higher point so now we have seen the market range right have you seen this is the market range right so if you want to enter here in this area for the buy so we have to close our position here in this area because price is running in this range right so we we have seen the range right now and let's see next the uh, next thing so let me here next thing support and resistance so you just find out we seen this support and resistance i just connected this area this is a previous higher point that become a resistance and here is a resistance becoming a support and support and here you can see 200 moving average so that is where i draw a horizontal line in this area so it's becoming a resistance line and the next you can see this is a support support and this is a support right so you can adjust according to you right so we have seen most the recent area so let me draw so i drawn here right in this area so why I don't here, mostly we have seen this is a supporting area and this is a resistant area. So that is why I don't. So that means when price is failing, if you have any sell position, right? So we have seen this range, market is running in this range, right? Like that. So we have seen this range and selling point. So if you have any sell position, so this is a support. Suppose you have any sell position, we have to close in this area because market might be reversed from this area because they're creating higher high and higher low in this area. So that is the retracement point. So now you can see this is the retracement point. If you have any sell position around uh, in this area, right? So this is our supporting area. We have to come out from this market in this area. We have to book our profit and we have to wait and watch. In case if they break this area and price just pulling up, and we are getting any sell signal we will start selling below this supporting area right uh, 3841 so next target will be here and we'll close our position in this area right and let's see now here so uh, uh, right now we have seen this is a supporting area price just creating and here higher high and higher low have you seen higher high and higher low in this area so next higher low might be here. So that is why we're gonna enter, we're gonna draw a Fibonacci line here. So let me draw a Fibonacci. So let's see, this is a higher point and this is a lower point. We have seen in this area, this is a retracement of 37, right? So it will call like that 78% uh, retracement or 61% retracement, have you seen? This is a 61% retracement. Have you seen? This is a 61% retracement. If you see like that, like that, like that, and this is a retracement area. So we have to close our position. There's a high probability to reverse from this area. If they break this level, so next target will be here somewhere like that. This is uh, this will be our target, right? So that is where you have to find out uh, markets uh, sub, uh, support and resistance and range and trend right so now we have seen so i think uh, you know uh, this one right because if you want to read more details about that because i'm creating uh, here allies blue sorry everything you you can go here and iq phase and you will find various type, type of trading strategy pattern. If you go to here, chart pattern. So you'll find everything other there, right? So now we have seen in this area, we have seen double bottom pattern. Have you seen? This is a first bottom, second bottom, right? This is a double bottom pattern. 
when they are forming this type of pattern, how to trade? Like, if you wanna know, uh, you can go to here, read more double bottom and double top pattern written by me, right? So the price is forming like that. Have you seen? This is a double bottom pattern. So what is the criteria behind them? You can go through and read properly. What is the target behind there? So suppose uh, this was first bottom, right? Second and break up. So when they break this area, we are taking equal point. So here is a, we have seen this is a uh, first uh, swing point and is equal to distance. This is our target, right? So similarly, you can see previously in this market, right? Have you seen? This is the first swing, this point, and our target will be similar, uh, similar is equal. So let me check it, okay? Now let's see here, this uh, neckline, have you seen? So neckline and lower point, we have seen 260, have you seen 260 point? Here you can see 260, right? 260 point, and this was the distance, and next 260 is our target. Have you seen? This is our target. Have you seen? This is our target, uh, this uh, resistance line. Right, now price is just reversing from this area. That is why this is a supporting line here. Now how to, next we have to find how to trade. Support and resistance we have seen. Now next trading strategy. So still I'm not creating any video regarding trading strategy. So I think uh, next webinar or uh, uh, like uh, in uh, next Saturday or after that. So I'll create how to trade. Uh, what is the trading strategy? So basically I use that trading strategy. So I'll discuss in our next webinar. So now you can see here what trading strategy we can use now. Right, we have seen trend, we have seen uh, range, we have seen support and resistance. Right, so let me draw another support and resistance. So here you can see this uh, next support and resistance. So this is the next support and resistance or support and resistance you can place here in this area. So most higher point. So if they break this level. Now, uh, thing is that, what is our entry point? What is our trading? strategy so let me check it uh, if you have any questions regarding this one do you have any questions regarding this one about the range about the trend do you have any query so you can ask me so i'll clarify you Okay, no query, right? Start. Any query? No. Okay, let's start. Now we can see this is our supporting area. So what's our trading strategy? For the tradings, just come to a small time frame, like 15 minutes. Have you seen this one? Now we have seen this is our market range. Right, this is our market range. Now in a small time frame, it will look like differently. Right, it will looking like differently. So in a small time frame, like 15 minutes, you can see like that, looking like that. Now big question is, where is our entry point? So we have seen this is a supporting line. This is our supporting line, 3814, right? So people are, most of the people are doing what they are doing, uh, big mistake, you know. Uh, they have seen this is a supporting line and this is small time frame market range. Now market is running in this range, right? Market is running like that. Like like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. So when you're gonna trade in this market, so market will be like a, this trading strategy will call breakout trading strategy. Basically, I use MA crossover. 
MA crossover, MA cross, right? Next, breakout, right? Third, bounce. So three strategy I, I, I basically I use. So now you can see if price break this resistance and 200 moving average when price will retrace toward uh, this resistance line, it will become a support. So this will be my entry point for the buy. And my target will be here. So that is why in this area, I never gonna enter in this market. Instead of losing your money, no need to trade. If you are not getting any opportunity in this market, so no need to trade in this market, right? So you just wait and wait for a good opportunity, right? So now you can see this is a supporting. Sometimes what happened, price just break this level. People are thinking, so start uh, start selling from this area because they are not able to find this support and raise then. So people are start selling in this area and price just bounce from that area. So that is why I'm waiting if they break this level and when price will retrace, so I'll start selling from this area below 3814, not now. And in this area, I never gonna, in this area, in this area, I never gonna take any position. If they break this level, I'll start buying. If they break this level, I'll start selling from this area. Remember, this is a support level and this is a resistance level. And this is a uh, small time frame because we are looking for a buy position, right? I can see this is a trading strategy. And the next uh, we can see here, entry point and exit point. What is our entry point? So I already told you my entry point will be above this area for the buy. Oh, sorry. Uh, for the buy, let me change the color. For the buy, I just waiting to break this level, All right? This is the range of my, uh, my trading range, right? So my entry point will be above this area. When price will break this level, when we will retrace near uh, this uh, resistance line and it will be become a support. So it will be my entry point for the buy. Next, you can see uh, next. Uh, risk management. What is your risk management? What is your money management? So risk management, you can see here. So if price break this level, I'll enter in this area and my SL will be around uh, hardly 30 to 40 point. Or you can see if you want to place here, one is to 170 point or 80 point and target will be 120. This is my next target in crude oil. Right. So now you can uh, ask me any question here, if you have any doubt. Okay, one by one. No, no, no. Okay. One by one. Okay, okay, okay. 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 So, Mr. Gokul Durai. Okay, can we buy or sell after breakout or buy or sell after retrace? Okay, Mr. Gokul. So, let me show you. So, I'm telling This is our range. Now, this is our range. You want to enter. If you want to enter, you just wait to break this level. Once breakout, when price will retrace near, because it is becoming a resistance line right now, 200 moving average, and this is resistance line are forming a strong resistance in this area. If price break this line, when price will retrace near this area, I'll start buy in this area. Remember, because in a large time frame, when price was filling the they are creating higher high and higher low. Now, price is just retracing like that. 
and this line are this line have you have you seen like this line is this line so they're creating higher high and higher low in a large time frame daily that means daily they are creating higher high and higher low and now daily they are retracing the price and this is a supporting line and the this supporting line is this this supporting line so above this supporting line i never gonna take sell position above this supporting line this supporting line i never gonna take buy position above this oh sorry uh, sell position above this one if they break this level it's okay i'll start selling from this area that means if the price break this level i will start selling and in between the, this area i never going to enter in this market because we are not we are not getting any confirmation for the buy and sell most of the people are entering in this market anywhere at any time after opening the laptop or computer don't do that remember don't do that you just find out that uh, how i will find out the market so my entry point is just uh, see like that. My entry point is here. This is a resistance line. This is a market channel, small time frame, right? So my entry point are above this area when they will retrace. So this is my entry point. This is my entry point for the buy. Remember, this is entry for uh, buy for me. And if the price break this level, this supporting line, and when price will retrace toward, at that time moving average will be uh, like that. So it will be, it will start uh, that trading uh, strategy will be different. So it will be bounce back like that. So you can see this is a bounce back trading strategy. Price just bounce from moving average 20 bounce 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 right. So similarly it might be happen. So that is why I'm waiting. If the price break this level, when price will retrace toward this moving average, so I'll start selling below this supporting line, remember. And we have seen two entry points. Above this area, it is buy. Below this area, and buy, uh, sell. Or trading space, right? So let me check it now. Got it, uh, uh, I think, uh, Mr. Gokul. Okay, good. Oh, any questions in crude oil? Don't enter in this market uh, without getting any confirmation. People are doing most, uh, like people are thinking, yeah, price just fell down. I'm going to miss this uh, opportunity. So don't do like that. Always wait for the opportunities and uh, for, uh, a good confirmation. Always wait for a good confirmation, right? Or any query? Or any query? If you have any doubt, you can ask me. Okay. EMA and Isimoko. Okay, 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 okay. This is a Isimoko line. So this is a Isimoko line. Especially I use this Isimoko line. Right? Uh, this is a Isimoko 50, uh, 50 period. So I mostly use uh, in uh, this one. It is, uh, according to me, it is a most uh, preferable for me, like more than VUF. Most of the people are using uh, what called that one. BUF and Super 10. So I especially use this one. It's called Ishimoko line. So if you want to see uh, this Ishimoko, it's a Kizusen line 50. Remember, Kizusen line, right? So when you're going to enter here, so you just change the everything. I just change everything. Non uh, color is non, non. 
only one number one. This is there, I uh, putting here red, and this is Kizusen line. This red is Kizusen line. So above this area, it's a buy. So you can see here, uh, if you wanna see according to, for for the last uh, time frame, uh, when they break this area, when they break this area, it's a buy. When they break sell, buy, buy. When they break sell, it's a buy. One uh, SL here, right? And again here, sell, right? Have you seen? So next, you can see here. Uh, again, you can see this is a buy. After breaking this one, buy. So I'm looking for here when you will break this level and this support line, I'll start selling from this area, right? This is a uh, line. So you can use in a small time frame like 15 minutes also. So 15 minutes I use like that. You can see here, right? When they broke this area, so buy, just bouncing buy, bouncing buy, bounce buy, uh, bounce. So after that break, it was sell and here it was buy so and i'm using uh, this uh, line with uh, uh, with this market range right market trend when when in a h4 like four hour chart or uh, h4 four hour chart when i uh, see this market is uptrend i start only buy so like that buy only buy only buy only buy only i never take sell because market h4 market is up right that is why I'm using this one. And here you can see. Now, according to this area, we have seen markets running in a range, right? So when price is running in a range, right? This is a range, range of this market. Market range of this market. Once they break this level, once they break this Kizusen line and this trend line and 200 moving average, definitely I'll start buying from this area and my target will be around this area, right? So this is my entry point. And once they break the supporting line, I'll start selling from that level. And Ola moving average, this is a small moving average, five, oh sorry, seven. And this is a 20, and this is a 50, this is a 100, 150, and 200. So I'm using this uh, exponential moving average for support and resistance, you can see this is a support. This was a support break and become a resistance. Price just fell down, right? Now this is my last point. So once they break this level, I'll start buying above this area. So this is our resistance line. Okay. So okay, no voice. No sound break. Mm, okay. Uh, okay. Here was also seen. And next, uh, how to analyze strong support and resistance? Good question. This is the most important, uh, Mr. Hansif Muhammad. Uh, this is the most important thing. How to analyze the strong support and resistance? Okay. This is a nice, a nice question. Right. It's the most important thing. Everybody. So when you gonna uh, uh, gonna place support and a resistance line always go to large time frame. Suppose uh, this is the one day or four hour chart. So when price creating like higher high like that, like that, like that area, right? Always try to uh, connect at least three area. When you'll find at least three area like that, it is become a strong resistance. At least three point, when you'll see the three point support, this is a strong support. Remember, once they break this line, so it is high probability to price will flat, fell down. If price break this three process area, have you seen? If they break this level, it's a high probability that they broke the resistance line. It's a high probability price will go to next target. At least three touches area. Remember, either uh, it will be horizontal line or vertical line, right? So let me show you. Okay, here you can see here. 
I want to connect the most touches area. Have you seen why in this area become a support? You can see this is this was a resistance line. This is a resistance line, right? And uh, this is a resistance line. So we have seen three support and resistance area in previous market. So it's becoming a strong support, right? Let me make it a little more bigger here. And you can see this is a higher process area. This was mostly tasses area, tasses area, tasses area, and the tasses area. This is now first support we have seen this area. So if you have like, uh, suppose, if you have any sell position, if you have any sell position from this area, you close your position because here is the most tasses area are there in this area. So it's a strong support around 384 or 3814. If in case they break this level, when it will retrace toward this support and it will be become a resistance, it will be a sell point and next target will be in this area, right? Most tasses area. And the next you can see here, I want to draw here another uh, supporting line here. This area, have you seen? That means this previous higher, this is a previous uh, low, lower high and lower high. So we are connecting these three point here. First point, second point, third point. And in this third point, you can see here, 200 moving average is also placing a strong resistance. If in case they break this level, so we'll start buying above this area and next target will be here. Because here is a resistance, resistance, resistance. So, I'll close my position here, right? At least you just try to connect at least three area and it will be more strong when they will connect moving averages. Have you seen here it was no moving average. Here was only higher point and higher point. Now here you can see we have seen higher point, higher low and higher low. And even here also moving average also and higher point, lower point, and the area. So here you can see this is a strong res uh, resistance are they? In case they break, so it is a high probability to next target in this area, right? Okay, let's check it with. Uh, okay. Uh, Mister. I think uh, Mr. Mohammed, you were able to understand. Okay. Okay. Because your line are different from mine. Okay. According to your uh, according to your study uh, analysis, it might be different. But I prefer that thing. Uh, I think uh, Mr. Mohammed. So I use like that because uh, according to me, so it is a high. Uh, probability to uh, retrace the area because this uh, I believe this is a strong support and resistance line, right? So you have or any query? Do do you have any query? Or do you want to know about another skip like this is a crude oil? So if you want to know about Another skip like that, zinc lead, so you can talk with me. Okay, you have any query? So in 15 minutes, you can see prices running. People are mostly trading in this area and doing a big mistake because they are not able to find this range. So here you can see we have seen this is our range, right? This is our range. So in between this area, some people are trader are trading in this between. So when price comes in, in this area, they will be sell just below and the next 
target will be here and they will close their position and wait again they wait to cross this area when price will retrace again enter in this market for the buy and the next target will be here right or once they break this level in this area next target will be around here and waiting if they break this level so again they are waiting here right so i hope uh, you are able to understand what i'm talking or if you have any queries so you can ask me okay if you have any query you can ask me so in next saturday i'm going to uh, talk about long term investment that will be 100% accuracy according to me because last 5 year i am investing in this stock so before you invest in uh, in a long run so there are nine step if any company they pass nine steps so you can invest directly because i am investing there at least uh, 20 to uh, 15 percent return i am getting every month okay okay sure so can i finish this uh, webinar today so and uh, next uh, tomorrow we'll discuss or if you have preferable time you can just uh, leave a message to me or either you are looking for uh, for morning or evening which is most uh, comfortable for you just you just leave a message if you want to know in early morning around when market will open so at that time so i can arrange a webinar for you you just leave a message to me okay okay so thank you uh, i hope you enjoy this video and okay uh, tomorrow 9 a.m sir okay definitely i'll try okay so i hope uh, i hope you enjoy this video okay so have a good uh, good day sorry good night